Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use source tree with the GitHub. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can create a repository on GitHub, then how can you clone it in your local uh, laptop, computer or anywhere. And then I'll show you how you can create a separate branch and work on it and then merge it with your master branch. So let's begin by adding a, a repository in a GitHub. So I click on new and then giving a name. We can give GitHub. We can give any name. So I'm giving GitHub source tree demo. So this repository I'm going to create to show the source tree demo. And then I'll show you how we can commit our Android code in this repository. So first thing uh, we need to copy this URL and open source tree now i am assuming you have already installed source tree in your computer and once you open then you will see this clone url and inside the source url you just paste that url on the destination folder you can give the path where you want to uh, keep your code and give any name for your reference so once you clone it so this is actually the repository has been cloned here Currently, we don't have any file over there, so that's why it's not showing you anything. So now, in the next step, let's create an Android project. So we'll create an empty project. Click on next, give any name, any package name. And make sure to Pass the destination folder select the same folder what we where we cloned it so make sure to use the same folder or path the same destination So our project is created in the same repository where we uh, clone our repository. So let's see it in the source tree now. So you see all the files are showing it here. So let's select whatever the files we need to commit. So uh, there are few files which we don't need to commit like which have the dot idea like the local files which we don't need to commit but rest of the files we need to commit and push it to our repository so let's select all of the file which we need to commit so all the files has been selected So uh, in the message section, we need to give some message. This is for our reference, just to track what we are committing. So I'm giving it as initial commit and okay. And now we need to commit or push. So we can push this master to origin directly because this is the first commit. So now you see inside the master we have commit all the files over there let me show you refresh it and there you go so now you can see all the files what we commit from the uh, through the source tree from computer those are in the github now but currently we just have the master branch as i said now we'll create a different branch we'll check out a, um, a branch and then we'll work make some changes on it and then we'll commit that branch to the origin so right click and click on checkout and give any name if you want to leave develop or you name you want to choose some other name you can choose it and just check it out so inside the branches uh, let me show you here 
so now you can see develop is all is here now and this is the clone from the master so let's make some changes in this develop branch i'm changing this hello world to some new text let me give welcome to learning world so now this change we made in our develop branch so you can see here in this file hello world to change the new text now we'll commit this change and as usual we'll give some name just to track tracking purpose text change to learning world and we'll click on this commit button so in source tree first we need to commit and then we need to push it so you can see there is a develop branch this is currently it's local until we will not push this will be remain in your local so we need to first commit this branch to the origin so let's click it on okay so now you see in origin so this branch is pushed to the origin so now you can see the master and the develop branch so now our master branch uh, develop branch have the new changes hello world to the new text and let me show you the master master should still have the hello world you can see it in the android code so you can see now so this is the master branch currently selected you see and this is the develop branch now i am checking out and inside android studio see the text has been changed so develop branch have updated text and master branch have just hello world and let's verify it inside our github so i am selecting master and now we'll uh, go inside the particular file inside resource layout and our layout file so you see this master branch have same hello world text and now i'm selecting develop branch we'll again navigate to the same file and there you see the updated text welcome to learning world and there you are so if I'm directly switching to the branch, we can see the difference. Now we need to merge our branch to the develop branch to our master branch. So what we can do, sel select develop branch and click on merge develop to master. So wherever we want to merge, branch we'll click on it and then it will ask for the confirmation click on ok button and now same we will push this branch to master so we'll call push to origin and then select master here and then click on ok and or both the branch will merge so our develop branch changes is now merged to the master branch so now let's verify it again to our develop branch and we are navigating to the layout file and from top it is in the develop branch now i'm switching to the master there you go so our code is successfully merged so guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you